Hello everybody and welcome to day 22 of my beginner sewing course. I hope you are well. Today I'm going to show you how to install an elastic waistband on one of those circle skirts that you sewed before or that you cut out before. Um, this one is 1.5 inches in width. Um, I just thought that would make it a nice width for a waistband. So yeah, let's get into it. I just made a coffee, like an iced coffee with three shots of espresso on it. So I'm like feeling, my heart is, is beating. Um, I'm ready for this. Okay, so here I have my half circle skirt. Um, and if you were making this for like a real project, um, you wouldn't actually um, use your real measurements when you were cu cutting it out. You would add like a couple of inches to your measurements just because you're gonna wanna pull it up like over your, your waist, uh, not your waist, um, your hips and your butt. Um, so if you do your right measurements, they won't go over. So even though we have an elastic waistband, like you're gonna wanna add those measurements, um, but this time we didn't because it's just like for practice, uh, just letting you guys know that. So the next step here is to take your elastic, measure um, the width, mine is 1.5, so that's going to help me with my um, waistband measurement. So we're gonna uh, cut a piece of fabric in like a rectangle shape to create the waistband. So um, it has to be bigger than the elastic. So what you're gonna do is um, take your elastic width, this one is 1.5, so uh, we're gonna have to double it because the waistband needs to go over that twice so that's three, but we're gonna add like a quarter inch to each side so we can wrap around the elastic. Um, and we're also gonna add like a seam allowance of um, a quarter inch on each side and uh, also add another quarter inch just for wiggle room. So that totals up to four inch and a quarter. So that means that your waistband needs to be a width of four inches and a quarter and the length of your waist. So for me, it's 27, but we're gonna add more just to leave a tail at the end, um, kind of like excess fabric. That's gonna give us uh, room for mistakes and errors. So let's cut that out. Okay, so I cut my waistband. Uh, mine is 30 inches long. And as a reminder, my waist is 27. So I just gave myself three extra inches. Uh, now you're just going to take your iron, so let's uh, get rid of this, Boop. take this and your iron. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold um, this edge right here around like a quarter inch. And we're going to do the same thing uh, on this side. So let's start here. And don't mind this line, um, I just marked that, um, that was my fold when I cut out this piece. So you don't need to do that. And if you're just beginning um, your sewing journey, which <laughs> you probably are if you're watching the series, um, like eyeing it out like this might be difficult, but um, like as you sew and practice, it'll get easier. So now you can just kind of use a ruler to make sure that like it's actually a quarter inch. Okay, now we're just going to fold it on itself like this. And press it. And this is your waistband. Um, okay, so this is the wrong side of my fabric. Okay, so now what we want to do is take your waistband and attach it to um, the skirt. Um, so you're going to attach the right side of your waistband with the wrong side of your skirt. So let's just do it. I'm going to leave like a couple of extra inches here and just start pinning. <laughs> wow that's very symmetrical good job me all right so what you're gonna want to do now is just 
stitch all around that folded line. So that's kind of like your guide. So let's take it to the sewing machine. Back stitch at the end. That's like a really long back stitch. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, so this is what we are left with. So now you're just gonna take your waistband and fold it over to the right side. So yeah, this is the right side, this is the wrong side. So you're just gonna uh, pin it all along here and then take it to your sewing machine and sew all across this edge right here as close as you can. Like use like a one eighth of an inch seam allowance. That should work. Also, I forgot to say, but um, sewing across this edge here is actually going to hide that seam. So make sure you don't go like uh, too far or else like we might be able to see it. Okay, that's all done. So let's take it to the sewing machine and sew all around this edge. Just make sure your needle is well aligned. And I'm actually um, going to make my stitch length a little longer on this one. I'm going to go with a three. Three? Yeah, three. Okay, so let's start sewing. Back stitch at the beginning. Are you tired yet of hearing me say that? Okay, so I just pinned my skirt to the mannequin and look how short it looks on her. Oh my god. Scandalous. Look at that. We can almost see her JJ. Also, I fucked up my line here. <laughs> it looks crooked. Whatever. Okay, so this skirt is 27 inches um, for the waist, uh, but the waist measurement of the person that's going to be wearing it uh, won't be 27, right? Because like we said before, or else like they won't be able to get it up over their butt. So um, like their waist would be around 22 to make this work. So um, that's how short or how long we want to cut um, the elastic. So we want to cut it, um, the measurement of the waist of the person that's going to be wearing it so 22 in this case so let's just measure it now we can cut it perfect so now we want to grab a safety pin oh whoops um, yeah, that's good. I'm going to grab this size. And attach it to your elastic. And actually, now we can just trim these pieces. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. And now you're going to want to insert your elastic in that waistband. And that safety pin is going to help you do that. So the safety pin is going to help you feed the elastic through the fabric. So just keep pulling. And once you get to the end here, you're just going to want to pin it. So pin your elastic to the end of the waistband. Just gonna stretch out your waistband. Oh, already wants to leave, but no, I gotcha. <gasps> no, no, I did exactly what I was gonna warn you not to do. <laughs> oh man, okay, so you don't want that to happen because it's kind of a pain in the ass to to take out so what you're supposed to do is take the end of your elastic 
and pin it um, to the end of your waistband here so that it doesn't just fall through. But of course, of course. At least it was caught on camera. You know that it happens to everyone. Don't feel bad if it happens to you. Now let me spend like one hour trying to fix this. Oh god, that was actually way easier than I thought it was going to be. Ew, perfect. Alright, don't let go, don't let go. Okay. So now you're going to take a safety pin and pin it. Now just make sure that like your elastic is evenly distributed. Okay, okay, so the next step now is to place it right sides together and to sew along that edge and then serge it. Um, when you do though, make sure that your elastic is like um, at the right place, so out. Keeps trying to leave. Okay, so like this. Then you place it like that and so. So let's take it to the machine. Okay, so I pinned everything together from here all the way down here. And uh, that's just to make sure that the elastic doesn't move. So I pinned like both of the elastics in place. And now I'm just gonna sew using a half inch seam allowance. Perfect, and now I'm just going to serge that edge. Oh, whoops. What happened here? That's weird. That's weird. What the hell happened? Okay, I actually don't know what happened here. That's never happened to me before. Oh, what the hell? I'll just cut this off. I could feel something was wrong. I just didn't know what. It's just it's a really, really tight um, stitch, but it doesn't look the worst, I guess. Um, I'm gonna take a look at my serger settings, I think, on this one, because, you All right, <laughs> anyway. All right, so this is how it looks. This is the wrong side, obviously. Let's turn it right side out. Perfect. This is a really cute skirt, and it's, like, super easy to do. Obviously, it would look better with, like, nice fabric um but yeah obviously you'll have to uh finish the hem if you actually do this project and yeah the inside looks good so i think that's it all right so we learned how to install an elastic waistband the only thing is that um i don't like how much bulk there is here and i realize that it's because there was like a slit in the skirt when like when you're using an elastic waistband you usually uh do like a circle so let's say a full circle skirt that's just like a donut so the elastic is just in a circle so there's no like there's no seam there in bulk and that's i find better so if you're going to attempt this project like in real life not for practice i would suggest a full circle skirt um because like when you're using because when you're using an elastic waistband on a pair of shorts or pants it's always a circle so what's gonna happen is that you're gonna sew um, or insert the uh, elastic in your waistband and you're gonna leave like an opening um, in your fabric and then you're gonna um, and then you're gonna sew together those two edges uh, using a zigzag stitch so like one stitch is gonna be here the other one there the other one there the other one there so um, It'll create less bulk. You could always do it like that, but that's just more bulk for no reason. So yeah, I do suggest doing that. This this was a bit of a fail. <laughs> so you can you can do it for practice, but um, don't actually do it if you want to wear it because it's going to be a little uncomfortable. 
but yeah, your homework is just to practice. Practice sewing the ways in, practice um, feeding it through um, your fabric and just all that good stuff. And yeah, I will see you in day 23.